give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's give him praise on tonight. Come on, put your heads together and help me give him praise. I want to welcome every last one of you on tonight to this live broadcast where Jesus Christ is still Lord of all. He is risen from the dead. He is alive. Come on, help me put your hands together. Come on and help me bless him on tonight. Come on and help me give our God praise on tonight. He alone is worthy to be praised and adored tonight. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, come on, help me give him praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't our God just awesome on tonight? Mighty, mighty, mighty God, I've been looking forward to this night. We serve a good God on tonight. Come on, let's put our hands together. Come on, let's put our hands together and give Him praise. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive, isn't it? Isn't it just good to be serving God? The Bible says God is a spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. That's in the Holy Ghost. That's under the anointing. Glory to God. That's being, that's worshiping God being led by the Holy Ghost. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, pour the Holy Ghost out on us tonight. We are hungry for you. No one but you can satisfy that deepest desire, that longing that's down in our souls tonight. Minister to us from the word of God. Let the presence of God saturate this entire broadcast, God. Lift burdens on tonight. Bring direction into the lives of your people. Men together broken hearts. Let lives be changed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost on tonight. Let the captives be set free by the power of God. Heal the sick tonight. No matter what disease it is they have, heal them tonight. God, and as you usher your people into a new season, bring strength, bring courage on tonight, God. Remove that cloud, remove the fogginess from out of our minds. Help us to regain our focus. The word of God declares, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Have your way on this broadcast tonight. Moved by the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together and help me give him another praise on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Come on and give a praise on tonight. Come on and give a praise on tonight. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come on and give a praise on tonight. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God is all your stuff plugged in, right? Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Land the glory. This, I, I just got to sing this verse of this old hymn on tonight. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Land the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Land the glory. Revive us. Again, sing it with me. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Sing it with me. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us. Sing it again. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Revive us. Sing it again. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Revive us. Sing it again. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Revive us. Sing it with me tonight. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Revive us again. Sing it with me tonight. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the glory. Revive us again. Revive us. Revive us again. Somebody put your heads together. Help me give a praise on tonight. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Oh, we love you tonight, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, just help me give him praise tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. Help me give him praise on tonight. Help me give him praise on tonight. Oh, glory to God. Mighty, mighty God you are. Mighty God. Mighty God you are. You were the word at the beginning. You were the word at the beginning. My God, one with God. One with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory in creation. Your hidden glory in creation. Mighty God, it's now revealed in you. Ah, uh, Christ, sing it with me. What a beautiful name it is. Come on, church. What a beautiful name it is. Sing it. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of. Sing it again. What a beautiful. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name. You didn't want heaven without us. Sing with me tonight. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. My sin was great, your love was greater. So what could separate us? What a wonderful, what a wonderful name it is. Come on, church. The name of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name. What a wonderful name it is. Sing it. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. We love you tonight, Jesus. Father, we give you praise tonight. We give you glory tonight. We give you honor tonight, oh God. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, just pour your hearts out to him. We love you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Listen, just forget about everything right now. I just want you to lift your hands to heaven. Open your mouth and just begin to pour your hearts out to God. Just begin to express yourself to God. 
Just let it come up out of your spirit tonight. We give you praise tonight. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. Give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God, you are. Mighty God, you are tonight. Oh, we give you praise, oh God. We love you tonight, Master. Visit us on tonight. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon us. We are hungry, God. Oh, I love you, Jesus. What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. You have no rival. And you have no rival. You have no equal now and forever, God. You reign. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the name above. What a powerful name it is! Sing it. What a powerful name it is! Come on, church. The name of Jesus. The name of. Jesus Christ my what a powerful name what a powerful name it is and nothing compares to this what a powerful name it is the name of Jesus what a powerful what a powerful name it is sing it tonight church that's the name that's above every name the Bible says at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. He has given us his name tonight. He has given us his power. He has given us his, his authority. You ought to be happy tonight that you got the name of Jesus. You ought to give him praise tonight. You ought to give him glory tonight because you have the name of Jesus. You cannot go down in defeat. The devil cannot wipe you out. The devil cannot kill you before God is done with you. The devil cannot have his way in your life because you have the name of Jesus. The Bible says God have highly exalted him and given him a name that's above every name. My God, there is salvation in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. Yes, what a powerful name. What a powerful name it is. Sing it with me. What a powerful name it is. The name, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is. The name. Sing it with me on tonight. What a powerful, what a powerful name. Sing it tonight, church. Come on and help me give a praise tonight. Yes, Lord. What a powerful name. What a powerful name it is. Nothing. Nothing can stand against What a powerful name it is The name What a powerful name tonight What a powerful name it is What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus Christ my King What a powerful name it is 
nothing can stand against what a powerful name it is the name what a powerful name help me worship him on tonight the name of Jesus Christ my King what a powerful name it is nothing can stand against what a powerful name we sing oh 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 and we sing oh 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 nobody like you Lord there's nobody like you Lord come on church there's nobody like you Lord we sing oh and we sing oh 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 there's nobody like you Lord there's nobody like you, Lord. Sing it to him. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. And we sing, oh. Oh, there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. And we sing, oh, oh, there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. And we sing, oh, you are my hero. You are my healer, Lord. You are my healer, Lord. Sing it to him. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. You are my healer, Lord. You are my healer, Lord. Give him a clap. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. You are my healer. You are my healer, Lord. Come on, church. You are my healer, Lord. Tell him oh, and we sing oh, oh, oh. You are my healer, Lord. You are my healer, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. You're my healer, Lord. And we sing oh. Oh, oh, you are my healer, Lord. You are my healer, Lord. Tell him, oh, and we sing, oh, oh, oh. You are my breakthrough, Lord. You are my breakthrough, Lord. Tell him, oh, and we sing, oh. You are my breakthrough, Lord. You are my breakthrough, Lord. You are my breakthrough, Lord. And God knows some of you need a breakthrough on tonight. I believe the Holy Ghost is going to give you a breakthrough. But come on, let's just worship Him tonight. Forget about your trouble. Get your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. He is the only one that can bring you out. There ain't a man or woman on this planet that can bring you out other than the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ himself. Get your eyes on Jesus tonight. Take your eyes of your trouble tonight. Put it on Jesus. Put your eyes on Jesus tonight. Sing it. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. Nobody, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. We sing, oh, come on, just help me worship him on tonight. Nobody, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Come on and tell him, oh, oh, I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. Make it personal. I really love you, Lord. Come on and sing. We sing, oh. Oh, I really love you. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. Come on and sing it to him. 
Oh, 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 I really love you. I really love you, Lord. Come on and sing to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We sing, oh, 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 oh. I really love you. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. We sing, oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. That we see her. Oh, we love you tonight. I really love you, Lord. Cause you move mountains. You move mountains. And you cause walls to fall. And with your power, come on, sing it with me. Before miracles, there is nothing that's impossible, that's impossible. Come on. And we're standing here only because you made, you made a way. Sing it. You made a way. Come on and sing it to him because you, you made a way. When my back was against the wall. When my back was against the walls And it seemed as if it was over You made a way You made a way You, you made a When my back was against the walls When my back was against the walls And it seemed as if it was over You, you made a We love you, Jesus. You made a way, Jesus. You made a way, Lord. You made a way. We're standing here. You move mountains, and you move mountains. I don't care how big they are. And you cause walls, mighty walls, to fall. And with your power, come on, Jesus. Perform miracles. There is nothing. That's impossible And we're standing here Only because You made a way Sing it You made a way Come on church Because you made a way We're standing here And we're standing here Only because You moved mountains you move mountains, you believe it tonight, and you cause walls to fall with your power. Come on, church, perform miracles. There is nothing, there is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made, you made a way, you made a way. You made a way When my back was against the walls When my back was against the walls And it seemed as if it was over You made a way You made a way, Jesus And you made a way I'm standing here And I'm standing here only because you made you made a way you made a come on sing it to him tonight you made a way Jesus you made a way Jesus and we're standing and we're standing mighty God you move mountains you move mountains and you cause walls to fall with your power, mighty God you are, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, that's impossible. And we're standing. You made a way, Jesus. You made a way. Oh, you made a way. standing here and I'm 
understanding. We love you tonight, oh God. We love you tonight. Pour your spirit out on us tonight. Holy man, and I'm standing here, and I'm standing here only because you. You move mountains, you move, you move my mountains, God. Cause my walls to fall with your power, mighty God. Perform miracles, and there is nothing. Come on, church. That's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made, you made a way. You made a way. Come on and sing it to him tonight. Yes, you made a way, Lord. Oh, you made a way, Jesus. You made a way for us. Lord, your word declares, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver us from the snares of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He'll cover us with his feathers and under his wings we will trust his truth his word will be our shield and our buckler a thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand god we give you praise tonight you move mountains you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. We're standing here only because you made a way. Oh, come on and help me give our God praise on tonight. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Help me praise our God. Help me praise him on tonight. Help me give him glory on tonight. Help me give him glory tonight. Help me give him honor tonight. Come on and praise your God. He alone is worthy to be praised and adored. Oh, we love you, Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are. Mighty God, you are. Waymaker, miracle worker. Waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are my way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Come on, sing it again, way maker. You are my way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are here. You are here, come on. You're working in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're mending broken lives. I worship you. I worship you. Waymaker, you are my waymaker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, that is who you are. Come on, sing it. You are my way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, 
That is who you are. Waymaker, you are my waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are my waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. You are here tonight. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're healing broken lives. I worship you. I worship you. You are my waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You are my way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Oh, come on, help me give him praise. Help me give him praise on tonight. We serve a mighty, 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 awesome God. I say we serve a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Come on and help me give him praise on tonight. Help me give him praise on tonight. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. He is a mighty, mighty God on tonight. Listen. Before I jump into the Word of God, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the work of God, into the ministry, into the kingdom of God. We know what the Word of God declares. Jesus said, when you give, it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. It's not magic. It's simple obedience to the Word of God. We give because he first gave to us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We give to show God that we appreciate him. We appreciate everything he is doing in our lives. The word of God declares in, I believe it's Matthew chapter seven, no, John chapter 14. Actually, John chapter 14, Jesus said, if a man love me, he will obey my words. It's that simple. And we give because we love him. We are not trying to manipulate God. We give out of obedience. But as a result of our obedience, the apostle Paul said, God is able to multiply your seed soon. So you can sow a seed and give a donation, an offering right now by visiting us online seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give or that's on our secured website ministry website or you can give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also mail in your donations to the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011 7442. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas. 750-11-7442. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I join my faith with your precious people on tonight. I pray that as they give into the kingdom of God, God, whatever they give to you tonight, multiply it back to them. Even as the young boy gave you five loaves and two fish, and you were able to feed an entire multitude, 5,000 men beside women and children. Bring increase back into the lives of your people tonight. Lord, your word promise us. The Lord is our shepherd and we'll not want. You promise us that my God 
shall supply all of our need according to his riches in glory. I join my faith with your people. Lift their financial burdens, their struggles, God. Give them a breakthrough in the area of their finances. Give them a financial breakthrough, a financial miracle, a financial turnaround. Open unexpected doors, God, because you love your people. Pour your favor out on your people, God. Where things wasn't working out for them, begin to work on their behalf. Bring supernatural increase into their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say to God be the glory for the great things he have done. Mighty God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy. Sing it again. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy. For he has done great things. For he has done great things 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 for he has done great things bless him bless his holy bless the Lord oh my soul sing it bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy sing it again bless the lord bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy for you have done great things. For you have done great things. Sing it to him on tonight. For you have done great things. Mighty God, you have done great things. For you have done great things. Bless your holy. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Sing it. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless him, bless his holy Come on and bless him, come on and bless him tonight. Bless his holy Come on and bless the Lord, bless his. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we get ready to go into the word of God, minister to your people on tonight. Encourage your people, strengthen your people on tonight and help your people to realize that you are bringing us into a season of peace a season of rest in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, put your hands together and help me give him praise. Come on, put your hands together and help me give him praise on tonight. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. You know, as I have been studying the word of God lately and spending time alone with God, the Holy Ghost have really been putting it in my heart real strong and showing it to me from the Word of God. It's one thing for it's one thing for you to feel something in your heart, but that whatever you feel in your heart that God's speaking to you, it has to be solidified by the Word of the Living God. And as I've just been spending time with God, reading my Bible on a daily basis. The Holy Ghost keep on bringing the word back to me. 
a season of rest, a season of rest. So you ought to be happy tonight. I don't care how long you've been warring. I don't care how long you have been struggling with whatever you have been struggling with because all of us face troubles, all of us face trials, all of us face tribulations in this life. Heartache, pain, death in the family. Everybody has something to deal with. But you have to understand, God does not expect us to, to always be at, at war. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You, God does not expect us, not does he want us to just always be in a fight, always in a struggle. That's not normal. Are you listening to me? There is a time where God gives his people a season of rest. Now, when I say a season of rest, I'm not talking about the world. The world's going to always have trouble. Are you listening to me? Because the Bible says the way of a transgressor is hot. There's no rest. There is no rest for the wicked. The Bible talks about that. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about inner rest. That rest from all of that struggling and, and fighting and just scrapping and scraping. There is a time when God gives his people rest. Are you listening to me? Are you ready to come into a season of rest on tonight? Some of you have been in such long periods of spiritual warfare, you don't know what it is to have peace anymore. You don't know what it is to have rest anymore. The Holy Ghost is about to make it real to you. God is about to bring you into a season of rest. And I, I believe by the Spirit of the living God, for some of you, that season of rest will begin tonight because the Word of God is going to Activate that and make it manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. I want to take you into the book of Ecclesiastes. You may need, you may want to grab a pen and paper on tonight because we are going to cover a whole lot of scriptures in the word of God. First, I want to take you into Ecclesiastes chapter three. I want to read verse one to you first. Give me one second here. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I love the word of God. I love my Bible. I love my Bible. My dad was a, he was a preacher of the gospel. My mom was a preacher of the gospel. They were the assistant pastors of the church that I was raised in. And one thing my dad drilled it into me when I knew I was called to preach the gospel, he would tell me, I mean, pretty much several times a week, be a preacher of the word of God. He would always tell me, when you stand before God's people, don't run on with nonsense, don't run on with foolishness, take the people of God into the word of God. People need the word of God. I thank God for my dad being that kind of example to me of being a preacher of the word, sticking with the book. I dare somebody to open your mouth and say, we need a word. We need a word. We need a word. Now watch this. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, the Bible says, to everything, my God, that's including you and myself, to everything there is a season. My, listen, you ought to just, listen, I don't know about you, man, but that, that just gets me excited right there. He said, to everything, to everything there is a season. <laughs> You know the word season right there means? The word season right there means an appointed time or a period of time. The mere fact that the Holy Ghost penned these words through Solomon and said to everything there is a season. That also means that the fight that you've been in. Help me preach for two minutes here. The fight that you've been in. The struggle that you've been in. Just how that struggle, just how it had a beginning. That struggle is going going to have an end because there is coming a season where that struggle is going to be over. That struggle is coming to a close. I dare you to shout, I'm coming into a season of rest. Somebody shout rest. Somebody shout rest. Hallelujah. Now watch this. So the Bible says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose 
under the heaven. Now I want to jump straight on down to verse 8. Verse 8 says, there is a time to love and there is a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Are, are we in the book or not? We are in the word of God. So the word of God declares there is a time of war. There's a period where we fight, where we struggle. Look at, look, 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 just look at Joseph starting in the book of Genesis chapter 37, how his brothers betrayed him, tore his coat from off of him, threw him in a pit, took his coat, dipped it in blood, and dipped it in the animal's blood that they killed, and told his dad that Joseph is dead. Man, there were some cruel, ruthless siblings how ruthless can you get to see your dad crying and weeping and you are not even moved to tell him the truth. But you can't get rid of a dreamer because there is a time for everything. So Joseph had his time of trials and then they, from the pit, they sold him into slavery. And as soon as God began to promote Joseph and give him a little bit of rest, Potiphar's nasty, no good wife, she put her eyes on him. She was full of of a demon of lust. And then when Joseph was in the house by himself, she tried to rape him, but he escaped from out of her hands. And then she cried rape and lied on the man. And now Joseph is thrown into the prison. So Joseph is going through a time of war. And whilst he was in the prison, he got favor with the prison guard who, who promoted Joseph and put him over all the prisoners. And we know what happened. Pharaoh, Butler, and Baker was thrown into prison and Joseph interpreted their dreams correctly and they were released least one of them were released one was hanged and two years later Pharaoh had some terrible dreams and he needed someone to interpret the dream for him and the butler said look I remember when you threw me in prison there was a young Hebrew by the name of Joseph he interpreted my dream and you restored me exactly like he interpreted call Joseph out of prison and he will interpret your dream the Bible says they brought Joseph hastily from the out of the prison after he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. Pharaoh promoted him and make him the second most powerful person in the kingdom. So Joseph's time of warfare, his time of struggle, his time of pain had come to a close. He entered into a season of rest. God spoke to me at the beginning of this year. Say, tell my people they are about to rule. They are about to reign. That's the ones who were willing to suffer shame, who were willing to re be rebuked, the ones who are willing to be scorned, rejected, denied, looked down on, stumped on. God said the ones who were willing to suffer, they are about to reign. I come to you tonight as a servant of God to tell you, you are entering into a season of rest. Somebody shout rest. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God. Glory, 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 glory. A season of rest. A season of rest. Listen, the word, listen, the word rest means to have peace and tranquility from the havoc of war. Are you listening to me? You're not in a fight. You're not in a struggle. You are actually having a time of refreshing. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19 that times of refreshing will come from the presence of God. That's a time of rest. That's a time of peace. Are you listening to me tonight? I don't care how bad your struggle is. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how bad it looks. I stop by to tell you the Holy Ghost is about to snatch you from out of that season where you've been worrying, where you've been worrying, where you've been fretting. Nothing been working out. You've been scrapping. You've been stressed out. God is about to refresh you. God is about to give you a season of rest. Somebody shout rest. Someone shout rest. Someone shout it. Hallelujah. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Now watch this. Now watch this. So I want to read something to you here. 
My God, I just feel the anointing of God. I feel, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody help me give a praise here. I feel the Holy Ghost. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. God had anointed a young shepherd boy by the name of David that he would be the next king. And we know after David killed Goliath, he was promoted in King Saul's palace. King Saul made him one of his rulers, but King Saul got jealous of David and was afraid of him and began to chase David. He wanted to kill David and David had to run for years from King Saul. David was running from Saul for 13 long years. My God, I don't know about you, but me and my wife have just come out of a season where we've been in a struggle for more than 10 years. But the Holy Ghost had promised us, I'm gonna give you some rest. I'm gonna bring you from out of those trials and tribulation. I'm gonna bring you from out of your wilderness and I'll bring you into a promised land that's flowing with milk and honey. I stop by to tell you tonight the same God that brought David from being a shepherd boy and being on the run from King Saul and finally anointed him to be the king over Judah and then seven years later anointed David to be the king over the 12 tribes the same way David had to run but the same way God brought him from out of the valley and the shadow of death and brought David into a season of rest a season of promotion a season of peace I stop by to tell you tonight that God under the anointing of the Holy Ghost is getting ready to bring you from out of a season of a struggle from out of a season of restlessness from out of a season of no peace and God is about to give you rest God is about to work it out on your behalf you've been praying you've been fasting you've been believing God you've been standing on the word you've been sowing you've been paying your tithes you've been living right you've been a witness for Jesus you've not been ashamed I stop by you getting ready to come into a season of rest somebody shout I'm coming into my season I'm coming into it I'm coming into it the devil can't stop it he can't do nothing about it because Jesus said upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it somebody shout yes and help me praise him my God I feel the Holy Ghost hallelujah yeah nobody in the Bible nobody in the Word of God no one I know live all their life struggling but when I look into the Word of God when I look at the life of Esther when I look at the life of Samson the life of David the life of Solomon my God the life of Christ and his apostles they were not always suffering there were times and periods where God gave them rest and you are about to get rest you coming into it you're coming into it your storm is about to be over you coming out of a hurricane you coming out of a tornado you coming out of a divorce you coming out of sickness you coming out of grieving over a lost loved one my God he is getting ready to work it out he's getting ready to turn it around somebody shout hallelujah glory to God I feel this tonight hallelujah so look I want to read something to you. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Now watch this. I want to read this to you in the book of Matthew chapter 11. 
<clears throat> excuse me, Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Listen to the words of Christ. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That labor, the word labor right there means you toiling, you struggling, you, you pretty much just going in circles, you can't get ahead, you're carrying all this weight, you're carrying all this pain, you're carrying all this hurt, and it's just flat wearing you out. But listen to what Jesus says. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And listen to what he promises us. Jesus said, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Watch this now. Notice what else he says. My God, my God. Got to put on my reading glasses here. <laughs> I guess I'm getting to be an old man. <laughs> now watch this. Listen to this in the book of Mark chapter 49. After the apostles along with Jesus were caught up in a storm. That storm lasted for a while. But then Jesus arose. Excuse me. Mark 4 verse 39. And Jesus arose and rebuked the wind and the sea and said, peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Nobody stays in a storm the whole time. Are you listening to me? There was a great calm. There was peace. They had rest from turmoil. Listen to Mark chapter 6, verse 31. And Jesus said unto his apostles, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while. Do you see that? Jesus cares about his people, doesn't he? He want us to rest. He does not always want you to be struggling. He does not always want you to be at war. He does not always want you to be with no peace and no contentment in your life. Jesus said to his apostles, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going and they had no leisure time, not so much as to even eat. The, the apostles were so busy ministering to people that they weren't getting proper rest. So Jesus interrupted their time of ministry and said, you guys need rest. Isn't that just amazing that Jesus is interested in me and you getting rest? Listen to this. Let's go into the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 31. The church had went through some intense persecution under Saul, who was a Pharisee. And after Christ saved Saul, knocked him off his horse, delivered him, set him free from, from, from the bondage he was in. Listen to what the Bible says in Acts chapter 9, verse 31. The Bible says, Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and the church was edified, walking in the fear of the Lord, and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost, and they began to multiply. Pay attention to that first, the first few words there. Then had the churches rest. God had to give them rest. They just could not live just being persecuted, 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 and not being able to take a break, not, not having a chance to catch themselves. Some of you been in a married situation for a long time. God's about to give you rest. Some of you been believing God for the deliverance of your children, and you couldn't have rest because some of your kids are in some terrible demonic bondages. God's about to bring deliverance to your children. He's about to give you rest. Some of you have been in a financial bind for a long time. It almost seems like you, like you are in an extended season of a financial struggle. Well, listen, God's about to give you rest. Some of you have been in an extended period of sickness. You've been believing God. You've been standing on the word. You've been fasting. You've been praying. You've been, I mean, speaking things into existence. And the sickness is still racking your body with pain. God is about to give you rest. Now watch this. I want to read this to you from the book of Esther, chapter 9, verse 22. As the days wherein the Jews...
Jews rested from their enemies. The Jews had almost suffered a whole year because the wicked Haman was trying to annihilate the Jews almost like a like what Hitler did. He was almost like an old-fashioned Hitler, wanted to kill God's chosen people, but you can't get rid of God's chosen people. When God lays his hands on a group of people, you wasting your time trying to get rid of them. You are not going to get rid of them. You might as well try to get rid of God. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. So God gave the Jews rest from their enemies. I want to go into the book of 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 4. I'm reading a lot of scriptures here. I hope to God you have a chance to write some of them down or go and rewatch the broadcast. Listen to this. Listen to what King Solomon said. But now the Lord my God has given me peace on every side. Listen to what Solomon said right here. I have no enemies and all is well. I'm sorry, man, that's preaching territory right there. You know, God said it when a man's ways please God. The Bible says he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Your enemies even come to the end of a hating season where they become a little reasonable and change their attitudes towards you. One of David's greatest enemy was a man by the name of Abner, a leader under King Saul. After Saul had died, God changed Abner's heart and Abner became an ally with David. David's arch enemy made peace with him. I dare say to you, under this anointing of the Holy Ghost, as your ways please God, God will make even your enemies to be at peace with you. That boss man that hates your guts and never want to promote you, never wants you to get the raise, he's given it to everybody else. God can turn his heart because the word of God declares the heart of the king are in the hands of God and as the rivers of water, God can turn it however he will. When a man's ways, please God, he will make somebody shout rest. Somebody shout rest. Somebody shout rest. Excuse me. Now watch this. So the Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 56. Listen to King Solomon. Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise. Which he promised by the hand of Moses his servant. Solomon said blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. You got to guard yourself. Some of you have been into such a prolonged season of, of no rest where you've been struggling, battling, and fighting that God is trying to bring you into a season of rest and you almost feel as if rest is abnormal. You've been in the battlefield so long, struggling with that problem so long. God's trying to give you rest and you almost feel like something's wrong. Listen, me and my wife even have to talk about it lately because God's bringing us into a different season in our life where God's given us rest. And we have to, we have to really, we have to keep ourselves in check because it almost feels like, man, it almost feels like something's wrong to have this much peace, to have this much rest, to have almost, it seems like nothing, nothing going on that's bad because God is trying to give his people a season of rest. Don't go looking for fight. Enjoy your season of rest. They had, listen, the children of Israel had wandered through the desert for 40 long years. But after 40 years, God brought them into the promised land, a land that's flowing with milk and honey. And Joshua declared, out of all God's promises, not one have failed. All have come to pass. And the Lord Jesus himself, he promised that if you come to him he'll give you rest he'll give you a season of rest someone shout rest hallelujah my God my God my God glory to God glory to God 
Now watch this. Listen to Second Chronicles, chapter fourteen, verse six. Under Asa, the father of Jehoshaphat, and he built fenced cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those years, because the Lord had given him rest. God gave the man rest. God had given Asa rest. Asa was a righteous king. He had battle after battle, war after war, and God finally gave Asa and the people of Israel a season of rest. Let me read that again. So he built fenced cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those years because the Lord had given him rest. What a mighty God we serve. Listen to this under Jehoshaphat. Listen to what the Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 30. So the rim or the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was quiet for his God gave him rest round about. All around, God gave Jehoshaphat rest. Listen to this. I want to read to you Job chapter 42, verse 10 through 12. First, let me read Psalms 94, verse 12 and 13. Listen to this. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity. God allow you to go through the fire God chastises us, he corrects us, he disciplines us. But at the end of the day, that thou mightest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be dig for the wicked. God's interested in giving you rest, friend. Listen to this. Job chapter 42, verses 10 through 12. Remember the trial of Job. He lost everything he had. It lasted for about nine months, is what most scholars believe. Job had one of the toughest trials of any man apart from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And listen to what the Bible says in Job chapter 42, verse 10 through 12. When Job prayed for his friends, this at the end of Job's trial, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as he had before. God gave Job double for his trouble. Now watch this. Then all his brothers, sisters, and former friends came and feasted with him in his home. And they consoled him and comforted him because of all the trials the Lord had brought against him or really allowed to come against him. And each of them brought him a gift of money and a gold ring. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life, even more than his beginning. God allowed Job to be tried. He allowed Job to be tested. But he brought Job out of it. Brought him into a season of rest. Brought him into a season of peace. The Bible says to the point that Job lived for 140 years. And he saw his children's children's children. Job lived to see great, great grandchildren. Because God gave him a time of rest. A time of peace. Because of all the trials that he had to go through. I want you to lift your hands to heaven with me on tonight. I want to join my faith with you right now and pray with you because you are coming into a season of rest, my friend. The heartache, the pain, the struggle, God's bringing that thing to a close. Nobody is going to just be suffering, 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 suffering and not have rest. Even Daniel came out of the lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they came from out of the fiery furnace. Jeremiah was brought from out of a pit because of his strong preaching. 
God brought him out of the pit and gave him favor with King Nebuchadnezzar. We serve a God who is bringing you into a season of rest. And as a servant of God, that's why God had me declaring this word to you tonight. Because the word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It's the word of God that reveals the heartbeat of God. The word of God reveals the will of God. That's how we know what God is doing and saying in our lives because he reveal it through his servants, the prophets. Are you listening to me? Or he reveal it by the Holy Ghost himself. You're coming into a season of rest. Don't think it's strange. Don't think it's strange for everything to be at peace and things are turning to normal. It's not strange. It's not weird. It's God himself bringing you into a season of rest. That's why David said, he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me beside still waters. That represents a season of peace. A season of rest, a season of tranquility, a season where you can accomplish much for God, for your family, for your business, for your ministry, for your career. A season of rest where God gives you favor and your haters are outnumbered. He cares about you tonight. I join my faith with you right now. I pray for you that God would bring you fully into the season of peace where he deliver you from all that spiritual warfare, battling, struggling, always at the end of your rope, always at the point of giving up, going through so much trials, you have begun to question the word of God itself. God, are you real? God, do you care about me? Oh, yes, he does care. Yes, he does love you. God is lifting burdens right now. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. I feel some burdens. Are, come on, crank it up. I feel some burdens. Some burdens are being lifted right now, right now, right now. Oh, he's lifting burdens right now. Yes, he is. Oh, he is lifting burdens. I prophesy to you under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You coming into a season of rest. You coming into a season of peace. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about the church. You coming into a season of peace. And when God gives you peace, when God gives you rest, you better enjoy it because persecution is ahead. Persecution is around the corner. But God wants to give you and I a season of rest, a season of peace. You better enjoy it while it's here. My God, my God, hallelujah, seasons change. Oh, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you glory tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah, and the glory, mighty God. Hallelujah, then the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, then the glory. Revive us again. Sing it again. Hallelujah, then the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, that the glory revive us again. I cover you tonight in the name of Jesus. I cover you, your situation, your struggle, your turmoil, your restlessness, your continual warfare. I declare over your life in the name of Jesus Christ that God himself is bringing you into a season of rest, a season of peace, 
a season where you will accomplish much for the kingdom of God, where you will accomplish much for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, every enemy you have, I pray they would be subdued in the name of Jesus. I pray that they would be conquered from the east, west, north, and south, that God would give you rest all around like he did for Jehoshaphat, like he did for King Asa, like he did for David, like he did for Solomon, like he did for the children of Israel under Esther and Mordecai. He gave them rest from all their enemies. We declare rest tonight. We receive it. We welcome a season of rest tonight, a season of peace, a season of tranquility, a season where we can be refreshed and regain our focus, a season where our marriages work again, our businesses work again, our ministries work again, our relationships with our children are restored, family relationships that were broken, restored tonight. Old friends relationship that was demolished and broken, restored by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare rest in your life. I declare rest in your spirit, rest in your mind, rest in your body from turmoil. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, just how God gave the church rest from Paul in Acts chapter 9. God's given his people rest. Don't fight it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't fight it tonight. Receive the rest tonight. Receive it. Rest in your spirit. Rest in your atmosphere. I bind every devil, every demon, every form of witchcraft, every hex, every spell, every curse, every form of black magic, old bear. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus that was sent from the witchcraft, from the witch doctor, from the old bear man. I break it in the name of Jesus. I declare rest for the weary. Rest in your life. Rest in your mind. Rest in your spirit. The word of God says your sleep shall be sweet in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, he's given his people rest. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Oh, he's given us rest. He's given his people rest. Hallelujah. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. There is a time of war, but there is a time of peace. God's bringing peace. He's bringing rest. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, I surrender all. Listen on tonight. You're watching this live broadcast. If you never had a chance to give your life to Jesus, you may be watching the rebroadcast. It's the most important part of our meetings is to open the kingdom of God for souls to be saved. If you did not give your heart to Jesus, he is saying to you tonight, surrender all to me tonight. He loves you so much. He died on Calvary Cross just for you. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God, the Savior of the world. You died on Calvary Cross for me. You were buried in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. And you are now seated at the right hand of God and you are coming again. I surrender my life to you. I surrender. I surrender all tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen, dear friend, if you prayed that prayer with me, let me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. There's no greater rest than when a sinner surrenders their life to Jesus because the way of a transgressor is hard.
He loves you tonight. Your sin have been forgiven. Tonight marks the night, <clears throat> excuse me, of a new beginning in your life. The beginning of a new day. Your sins are forgiven. Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me and my words down here on this earth, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. So I want you to type in the live chat right now, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. If you're watching the rebroadcast, I want you to type below this video, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. This is the most important part of any meeting we could ever have, is when sinners get saved, when they surrender and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of their lives. The Bible says there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God, more over one sinner who repents than over the rest of the church who need no repentance. Heaven is rejoicing tonight. They are throwing a party, they are throwing a celebration because of the souls that's being saved on tonight. If you've just surrendered your life to Jesus, type in the live chat, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus, so we can give a shout out to you. I surrender, I surrender all, I surrender all, oh I surrender all. Come on, sing with me on tonight. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back. To the way. God bless you, Tonya. God bless you, Davia. Chandamel, God bless you. Hi, Susan. I see those surrenders. Tiffany, I see those surrenders tonight. Frenchie, Annette, God bless all of you. Come on, saints, welcome these people into the kingdom of God. Come on, give them a big welcome into the kingdom of God. Give them a big welcome. This is the most important decision you could ever make in your life. Listen, continue to be a part of these broadcasts. Read your Bible. Go to a local church, a Bible-believing Holy Ghost church that's on fire. Amen. Go and tell the pastor, I surrendered my life to Jesus. I'm a new Christian. I want to get plugged in to your local church. Go ahead and do it. We love all of you. Listen, if you did not have a chance to subscribe to our channel, you can do so right now by clicking on the red and white subscribe button. Click on that subscribe button. That way every, and make sure click on the gray bell, which is to turn on the notifications. That way, every time we upload our morning prep broadcast, or go live, which we do every Thursday night and Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, you will receive that notification. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love all of you. We say God bless you. We'll see you on Sunday night. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless all of you. Take care. My God, I won't go back. I won't go back. Sing it with me. Sing. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. 